It's day 127 of the project and right at the very end of the last episode I asked you to choose one from four different fragrances which you'd like me to uh, talk about in this episode and this next one got the most votes so today I'm talking about a limited edition wallet friendly heavily discounted fragrance from the Italian fashion and fragrance house Trussardi. Uh, this one is Trussardi Riflesso Blue Vibe and to find out what I think of this one and whether or not I think it's worth picking up. Stay tuned to Mags Frags. Yes, hello again everybody and welcome to another episode of Mags Frags. I'm Paul and this is day 127 of my Fragrance 365 project where it's the fragrance that's the star of the show. Today's featured scent is Riflesso Blue Vibe from the House of Trussardi. This was launched in 2019 and it's an amber woody fragrance for men. It comes in a 30ml, a 50ml and a 100ml bottle size like this one. And I picked this one up from the All Beauty website for around about the £35 mark, which is about the same as what Fragrance X price it at if you're uh, watching this in the USA. Yes, we're into the presentation and it comes in a, a really nice looking box and I think it looks really quite sporty in this navy blue and fluorescent yellow colour scheme. It's got a slightly ribbed finish and the blue has a metallic shine to it which I think looks really nice. On the front there's the uh, name of the house and we've also got the name of the fragrance and at the bottom there's the size and concentration. On the top of the box there's the Trussardi logo uh, and on the back we've got uh, again the logo and some product information and underneath we've got the usual barcode and batch code. The bottle on this one is really high quality and it continues on with this ribbed uh, textured design and it's a very weighty glass bottle. The branding on the front is actually sunk into the glass with raised letters. Uh, we've got a plastic click-on cap uh, and that also features the T from the Trussardi logo at the top. And then at the bottom there's just a, a small sticker with some more information on there. We've got a really nice uh, smooth atomizer on this one uh, and, it, and it gives a really nice uh, smooth blast. Uh, it's, it sprays a really nice fine mist. And I have to say that I'm really impressed with the presentation on this. It looks really impressive and I, I, I really like how this one looks. The top notes in this are rum, yuzu and davana. In the mid, there's hazelnut, geranium and artemisia. And in the base, there's amberwood, leather and tobacco. Yet I'm not going to lie, this one is quite difficult to describe. It opens up fairly bright with a couple of different elements. Firstly, I get like a, a bitter and tart citrus from what I presume is the yuzu, but I've actually never smelt yuzu before, uh, but after doing a little bit of research, it is a bitter citrus fruit, so I kind of that's what I kind of get from the initial spray of this one. I can also pick up on some of the green notes, which also have a bitter and an herbaceous quality. So for the first impression that I get, it's a fairly clean and crisp scent uh, with a bitterness that dominates the opening. It's a, a fairly synthetic smelling fragrance for the first 10 minutes or so. And I've got to be honest and say that I'm not too impressed with how this one smells before it dries down. But after the underwhelming introduction, it does start to smell much more pleasing as it dries down and it develops into more of the blue vibe fragrance that the name of it would suggest. However, um, if I hadn't have read any of the note breakdown before I sprayed this one, there's no way that I'd be able to confidently tell you any of the fragrance notes in here because nothing really jumps out whatsoever. I don't get any of the leather or the tobacco that's listed in the base. 
And some people say that they do get the booziness from the rum note and some nuttiness from the hazelnut, but I don't really get much of them either. Uh, maybe a touch of the booziness if, I, if I'm really focused and I, and I try to pick that out. Uh, but if I've if I'd have tried to guess any of the notes in this, uh, I would have probably said that there's green notes uh, without actually knowing which ones, and maybe the amber wood uh, because it does uh, that note does appear in lots of blue fragrances, and you do get like a, a semi sweet ambery type smell in the dry down in this one. I would have also maybe guessed at uh, some man-made aroma chemical like Ambroxan or Isoe Super because I get a slight aquatic saltiness in the heart of the scent. This is not a blue fragrance that smells anything like the likes of Bleu de Chanel, Versace Eros or Dior Sauvage. This is much less bubblegummy sweet and I'd say it's more of a hybrid between a classic barbershop fougere and your more modern designer blue scents. The bitterness and the green notes produce a more mature and uh, masculine scent character which has a retro feel without smelling old fashioned. It's a fairly unique and interesting fragrance with plenty of elements going on at the same time so there's uh, plenty to, uh, to get your nose around with this one. This is a fairly versatile fragrance that I think you could wear for a few different scenarios. But for me personally, it, it'd probably be one that I'd be more likely to wear casually on cooler days of the year because the, uh, the freshness does fade fairly quickly and it becomes a, a, like more of a sweet and woody scent as it starts to dry down. It produces an aroma that's different to how you would imagine it to smell when you kind of look at the, the bottle and, and also the packaging. I imagined it to be more like a, an out and out generic sports fragrance for the summertime, but it's actually got uh, more of a cooler weather scent DNA. It'd be fine to wear as a work scent, uh, but I can't imagine ever reaching for this one for like a dressed up occasion or a night out because it, it doesn't smell special enough in my opinion. This for me is a jeans and t-shirt type fragrance when you're at the seaside on a breezy day and I'd even say it'd be fine to wear during the autumn time. In terms of age range, I think that despite the blue vibe name, this will appeal more to your older guys maybe over the age of 25 because of its nod to be more of a classic retro fragrance with a modern twist. I would say that this one has a moderate projection for a couple of hours uh, and, it, and then it tends to become a bit more of a skin scent and it'll stick around for maybe seven to eight hours. It's not going to fill a room but it's one that you'll, as the wearer, you'll catch wafts of uh, as the day goes by uh, and it's one that the people around you will notice if they're within uh, maybe two or three feet of you. This is a likeable fragrance that smells clean and uplifting. More people are going to enjoy this rather than disliking it. However, the bitterness in the opening is ever so slightly off-putting just for my own personal taste. Uh, but don't let that one don't let that put you off because some of you guys out there are really going to enjoy this one. I think for the price that you can now pick it up for, it represents really excellent value for money. The presentation is really high quality, it's got a fairly unique smell and it's versatile enough to wear for lots of different situations. It's not a complex scent and it does stay fairly linear throughout the dry down but it's definitely worth trying out and I'd give this one a, a solid 7 out of 10. Yeah, so once again that's about it for today's scent of the day. In the next episode I'm going to be talking about an affordable incense bomb from the house of Isimiyake. So don't forget to look out for that one. And as always guys if you found this video useful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel. I've finally uh, gone above that 5000 uh, subscriber mark now so another milestone hit. So if you have subscribed thank you very much for your support. It's also great to hear your uh, opinions and your thoughts and your critiques on all of the fragrances that feature throughout the 365 project so don't forget to keep your comments coming down in the comments section. So once again as always thank you very much for tuning into this episode, stay safe, keep smelling fresh and I'll see you very soon for another one.
Bye-bye for now.